Mr. Britton. Chairman Lambert, representatives, staff members, we very much appreciate the opportunity to get to be here today. I want to recognize the bill's sponsor, Representative Johnson of Ohio, the BLM Live Internet Auctions Act, H.R. 555, provides the opportunity to dramatically improve the Bureau of Land Management's sale of onshore oil and gas leases. As Representative Johnson has stated in the past, the Leasing Reform Act of 1987 was, quote, unintentionally, close quote, restrictive in that it bound the BLM to only be able to sell oil and gas leases in an internet auction only format, which is not surprising, of course, because there was no internet in 1987. I'm co-founder and president of EnergyNet, a company which over the last 14 years has conducted the sale of more than 39,000 leases and oil and gas properties in a continuous live internet auction format. HR 555 will amend that restrictive language, oral auction only, in the Mineral Leasing Act and authorize the Secretary of the Interior to quote, conduct onshore oil and gas lease sales through internet-based live lease sales, close quotes. This allows the BLM to utilize the incredibly powerful technological reach of an internet oil and gas property auction marketplace. It will increase participation in competition, which results in greater revenue to the BLM. Under the current oral only auction system, bidders must travel to 12 different auction venues. I submit to you this seems unnecessary and inefficient in today's environment. With an internet, uh, with the internet as an auction platform, a bidder could participate from any web browser in any of these auctions. If you have access to a computer, you have a seat at a BLM auction. Increased competition among bidders translates to more BLM revenue. Picture this room, if you would, as one of these 12 uh, live auction venues. What you'll see is 20 or 30 people holding up a paddle or a piece of paper bidding on BLM leases. Now contrast that, if you will, to what we do in the private sector with an online auction format. There are 17,000 bidders in that room, coast to coast, bidding on leases and properties. There just simply is no comparison. Internet bidders can evaluate leases and place bids from anywhere without travel expense or time away from the office. That's customer service by the BLM. And it's how EnergyNet has done business for nearly 14 years. We believe the results confirm the process. We've sold properties all across the United States, generating more than $1 billion in property sales. We've done it all on the internet. This bipartisan historic HR 555 opens the door to that same opportunity for the BLM. The oil and gas industry has already embraced the internet as a cr critical tool in their divestment arsenal and the BLM already effectively uses the internet. We've successfully divested properties in the internet for Chevron, Exxon, Shell, and 3,000 other private and public companies. We've signed five-year contracts with the state of North Dakota and Utah to sell their state leases, and that's directly analogous, selling state leases on state minerals just like selling federal leases on federal minerals. In 2011, EnergyNet signed a five-year contract to conduct internet auctions of oil and gas assets for the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. In 2009, EnergyNet sold BLM leases using the first ever internet auction venue. We're fortunate enough to have been selected to do that job for the BLM. And that uh, information is provided in our separate uh, material that we've handed in. OGLIAP, O-G-L-I-A-F, I-A-P, OGLIAP is the acronym, the Oil and Gas Lease Internet Auction Pilot. In conclusion, H.R. 555 will bring the 1987 unintentionally restrictive Mineral Leasing Act into the 21st century by increasing participation and co competition for the BLM's lease parcels to ensure the best return for the federal taxpayer, and of course, that's the key. Passage of this bill will benefit the BLM, the oil and gas industry, and most of all, the taxpayers of this great nation. This bill does not increase permitting of wells. It simply increases the value of what the BLM gets for their leases. 
On behalf of the EnergyNet team, we thank you for this opportunity to share our experiences, and we encourage your sponsorship and passage of H.R. 555. Thank you for your kind attention. And you're certainly welcome.